Hi, Franklin Academy families. I know I can speak for all of our staff and admin that we miss you guys so much. I know this is um, quite an adventure that we're all kind of embarking on without getting to choose it. So um, we are so grateful that we have the opportunity to, to connect with you guys this way um, using our Google platform. Um, I just wanted to make a, a quick video to help you guys log on. So um, students or family members, parents, whoever is staying home with the kiddos or older brothers and sisters, this video is for you to help you see how to log on to the Google platform for Google Classroom. So I'm gonna share my screen really quickly here. Um, what you're gonna see is the Safari page. I'm gonna go into Clever. Real quick, sorry, let me get rid of that so I can show you. So this is my daughter's Clever account. Um, the students are usually, they're used to logging into Clever with their QR codes, um, the little squares that they can kind of hold up to the camera. However, some of them don't have the QR code, they either lost it, they don't have it, um, but they all are able to log in through the use of the um, special student email that they have. It's a Google account email that all our students have. So your teachers will be giving you those again. So don't don't worry if you don't have that information, you will have it. So those, those emails will allow you to log into Clever. And then when you get onto Clever, as you see, you scroll down here, you're gonna see right down here, this green button is the Google Classroom. So what you're gonna do is click that Google Classroom and you'll see this login information. So you know, if you logged into Clever with the QR code, you probably wouldn't have seen this before, um, but this is the same login that you use for Clever when you're not using that, that little cheat sheet code. So um, it's gonna populate this automatically. What you're gonna do is hit copy and hit copy down here for the password. And what that does is it will put the student's name here on the account so that all you have to do from now moving forward is just click the account. Um, you may have some personal accounts listed on here. I got rid of mine so you didn't see them. But if the student's name doesn't pop up here and there's no account, you just add account and again put the exact same credentials in that this see this 23445. You'll have a unique number um, at students at franklinacademy.org. And then once you are logged in, you'll see the Google Classroom pop up. Um, you guys won't have any classes yet unless you've already played with this before. So what you'll do is go up to this, um, and I'm sorry if it's, if it's blocked because of what I'm sharing here, but there's a little plus symbol at the top right. It'll say join class. And what you're gonna be doing is putting in the class code that you're receiving from your teachers. So, you know, K through five, um, actually K through three, you'll have the one code from your teacher. For example, Olivia has Miss Park, so she's gonna put Miss Park's class code in. And then um, you'll be receiving specials code. So you'll be getting Coach Easter's code for his um, special for PE, et cetera. And then obviously our um, fourth, fifth, and MYP classes, you'll have different codes for um, your different teachers. So you'll be looking out for those codes. And we'll have a master list that'll have everybody's code on there. So you'll be able to access that just in case you don't have it. So once you add your class, you'll see classes on your Google Classroom. Again, this is Miss Dillman, so you know I'd click in her class, and what you'd see here is um, she's got her office hours up there, which your teachers will have. You'll you'll understand more about that later. Um, you see, there's a private conversation I had. We were talking about the Zoom videos, which again you'll learn more about, so don't worry about that. Um, and you see that you can read the little description, and this is where you're basically going to be um, using this platform to get your assignments turn assignments in. Um, you'll have different types of assignments depending on what your teacher is using. But this is this is kind of the starting page. So this is just kind of a very basic um, place to start. And hopefully this video explained a little bit of how to just get on. Um, don't don't stress, we're all here for you. Ask your teachers for help. If they need help, they're gonna ask you know administration for help. Um, and I'm available as well. Mr. West is available. So if you need anything, please don't hesitate to email us. We're checking emails. Um, we're in this together. And uh, if you have any issues or, or any concerns, um, please, again, don't hesitate to reach out. So um, hopefully this video helped you. Uh, my little one's now crying upstairs. Her nap time's over, which is going to be kind of our new normal soon. So um, I'm going to be 
signing off here and I will make another video for the Zoom meetings if that's helpful. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. And again, we miss you. We look forward to seeing you whenever that is. Um, but we'll see you virtually very soon.